Have you ever needed to record your computer screen for for whatever reason, but you didn't want to deal with any sort of paid for uh, video recording subscription of any kind? Well, there's this application called Screo that if you're able to follow this tutorial correctly, you should be able to record your screen and look back over whatever you want for as long as you want without any sort of fees. First, you would type in scre.io and then you would either click here or go to the link in the description and then it'll give you a little bit of details for how it will work but I'll explain in this video then you'll try to download it and it'll direct you to one of these where you can either download it in Google Chrome or Google Edge I'm using Chrome right now and as a result I've been able to uh, attach it as like a pin to my Chrome extensions where if you go here on this puzzle block you should be able to pin it down and it'll just show up uh, here next to your search bar and then when you go into the application and also just be aware there might be some cuts from here on because I think if you try to like record your screen again while you're already recording it like I am doing with the application right now it might cause some hiccups so just be aware of that I'll open a new one and so if I want to see if I can record something and get the audio from it, you'll have several options to either do no audio if you just want the picture, your microphone so you can talk into it or have your computer's microphone pick up sound for you, both the system and mic, which is what I'm doing right now, or just a system so no outside noise can be distracting you. So I'll go with just a system so we can get a clear sound, and then I'll try to start recording. And then you can either do your entire screen, like I'm doing right now, a certain application window, so like either these three tabs in general, or just one single Chrome tab. I'm going to do one tab and go to this one YouTube video that I made. And we're going to try to record it for a couple seconds and see what we can get played back. Okay, that's great enough. So we'll stop recording here. And then it'll give us this. And once we save it, it'll give us a generic kind of uh, video file name. You can change it to whatever you want. I'll say this video. And then you can try and see if you can play it back. But then here's where you'll kind of run into a little problem. If you click on the video, You'll see this black screen, but then give it a couple seconds. As you can see, we're getting the audio from what I just recorded, but we're not getting the picture, which is a little weird. And so I think it's because either the playback uh, application I'm just trying to use doesn't work with this WEBM file. But there is a workaround. If you have either like an editor software on your computer, you can put this link or this uh, file in there and we'll play it back. But for the purposes of this tutorial, there's an easier way to do it without having to download something else. You'll just go back to the Screo application and then you'll go into the menu and go to Video Player. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry, here's one of those cuts. So, anyway, as I was saying, you would go to the Video Player. And then click on that, and then you would take you to this screen, and then watch well, it. Let me just uh, do this all again. From here, you go to video player, then it'll take you to this screen, and then you click here. It'll open a file tab for you. Then you click, then you click on the video that you need, and then it'll play it back to you in its own kind of uh, screen. And then you can enlarge the screen to get as much of the view as you need. And that's about the sum of how this application works. Sorry, needed one more cut there. And so once you have your thing recorded and you have it in video player, you'll see at first you won't be able to click and drag the uh, time bar so you can get to where you need to go. But if you click optimize up here, it'll just give it a second to load and then you will be able to go throughout the video as you need to be so you can get to any specific point that you're looking for. 
So that's about the sum of the application. I hope you found this video useful. And if I find anything else about this application that seems interesting, I'll be sure to do a follow-up video. Thanks for watching.